Okay, round number five, we're on the play. We're likely out of top eight contention. We're just looking to um, battle back for top 16, maybe. We're on the play for the first time. I think I'm going to try this. Just turn one grid with Veil back up. Probably getting trop with this. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to be able to cast the veil through the defense grid if that's what we want to do. Our opponent's thinking. Force pitch preordain. Alright, we have a defense grid. Want to find like LED plus Echo now? This feels like a show and tell start, but I don't have a good reason why. Like, preordained isn't really like. The snow-covered island isn't in most Galver decks. Like, I guess it could be blue-red Galver, but this feels like a combo deck. I don't mind the Meyer draw. Wow. So that's just a kill next turn. Show me what you're playing. Come on. Just don't kill me. You can't have both. Alright, so they're playing a fair deck. This is good info to have because now we can board in all of our uh, six green cards. Get our Badlands to pair with Trop, all four colors, and then let's resolve Ad Nauseam. 18 with a land drop, pretty good. Alright, so there's no Tendrils in the deck. All right, we're going to stop there. We do have to get to the point where we can Burning Wish for um, Tendrils. So that's a nine mana line right now. We have three, four, five, six, seven. We're currently too short. And I think the LED does it. And I'm not going to imprint the tendrils in case I'm wrong. <laughs> Now 
And this is exactly enough. And our opponent is conceded. All right, turn three, Nas. Bring in our six green cards, as I mentioned. Minus four, right? That's what we do. And if you're enjoying this content and want to see more of it, make sure to follow us on all of our social media channels. Okay, well, we're going to try this. Pretty good against a fair blue deck, I think. I guess it could be like the uh, the blue white Omni deck that uh, Nathan Lippitz posted about, but I don't think so. And now we're seeing a tropical island, so maybe it's Bant Omni. And maybe I shouldn't have clicked so fast because that was fine. I could have pondered off that. pretty good this does look like Bant Omni right now Tormod's Crypt. Maybe I'm wrong. We have a fetch land on top. What is this? Force pitching what? Cunning wish. So it is like a Bant Omni style deck. So the, uh, the abrupt decays I cited in won't be very good. We know that it's Bant Omni because if you weren't paying close attention, they pitched a Cunning Wish.
and the grid is keeping our defenses up. And now we get to ad nauseum with a bunch of mana. I've actually been liking the three veil, three grid split. I don't even think we need to, maybe I'm wrong. So if we go down to six mana floating, now we're one short of chaining uh, Claw into Burning Wish into Tendrils. <clears throat> sure. We do have a land drop. The carpets are a break even on mana, so they don't actually do a whole lot. We'll stop it there. But they do help you get to City's Blessing if that's something you care about. I know that uh, Max Carini likes to call a city's blessing storm, so 10 permanence is pretty cool. And we'll do it for max. We'll play out our carpets, move to second main phase, get the city's blessing. Uh, they're not going to let us. 3-2, uh, two, 2 to go. Let's see if we can finish strong at 7-2 or 5-2. 